Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Demon Souls on Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we beat the old monk from the Tower of Latria, and it worked out pretty well. It wasn't too bad. It worked pretty easy. But uh, now, we're going to go ahead and take care of pure white world Tennessee stuff and the other areas of Tower of Latria here. And I don't know why my... I don't know why my inventory is so heavy right now. I don't have a whole bunch of extra stuff that I'm not thinking of. Huh, that's weird. I don't know why my inventory is so heavy. The spices are not that heavy. I should not have... Oh, it must be all these hard stone shards and stuff that I have, which I forgot about. Do you know, let's go ahead and gold. drop those. Yeah, I bumped it down a little bit, but it's still heavy for some reason. Yeah, okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and get back to the Tower of Latria, first floor, to see if we can't rescue... Rydell, and also I think now we can access the second floor in general, which is where we weren't really able to access much of before. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, apparently the second floor opens up a lot now. Okay, that's cool. I don't know how much is actually over there, but we'll find out. Yeah, there's no other White World Tennessee uh, events here. Nothing in the uh, final boss area. Uh, we already did the one Tennessee in getting the key for Rydell Cell, and that's the only thing in that area. And then all the other stuff is here in the first floor. So, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. And you know what? I want to get rid of these little bastards. I wonder if I can just kill them in one shot. Now, I probably should be able to. Yeah, I like it. Gotta watch out for these bozos, but other than that, I'm not too terribly worried about it. And actually, why am I going this way? I don't think I even need to go that way. I need to go down. So I think we're on the fourth floor at the moment here. So, let's go. Actually, I think we have to go up before we go down, don't we? Yeah, we have to go up, and then we go down. Okay, cool. Right, go away, dude. And yeah, these guys are going to come bother me, unfortunately. But they shouldn't be too much of a problem. Good night. I'm not even going to bother picking up your old spice, because I don't really care. Just one moment, hang on. Oh, sorry about that. I thought the uh, microphone muted there. But, yeah, my speakers are giving me pain in the ass problems right now for some reason. Let's see, what floor are we on? I need to get new ones, that's for sure. Alright, we're on fourth floor. We need to get to second floor. So let's get down here. Yeah, I think this should be the way we need to go. I'm still not entirely convinced on how to get everywhere here. Okay, apparently that's still the wrong way. Um, fourth floor. And you can't just backtrack from the stupid boss area because you end up in the top part of the level, which is really the next part of the level. So that's screwy. Uh, let's see, keep on going down here. And then I think we should be close to the exit here. 
see, that takes us over to the boss area, which is not where I want to go. I think we should be on the second floor right now, though. Or maybe we are now. Let's see. This is... Yeah, is that who I'm looking for? No, this, this is the second floor, but it's not exactly where I'm trying to be. Okay, we do have the key for the second floor now, but these guys don't really have a whole lot that I'm looking for, I don't think. I don't think there's actually a whole lot in all the various cells here, it's just... We can actually get to him now. The main one is going to be Rydell and just a few other things. Let's see, we're not going to bother with you. Nothing in there that I care about. Nothing in there. Ah, here's Rydell. How you doing, bud? Can I talk to you? There we go. Oh, why, thank you. Thank you, kind soul. Please, take this fine piece of work. Besides, I have no use for it now. Oh, and thus begins my final, eternal rest. And we get a dull rat's ring. Uh, the opposite of the clever rat's ring. Uh, the clever rat's ring it lets you um, gives you more attack power when you're when your health is below 30%. And the dull rat's ring does the opposite. It gives you more defense power when your health is below 30%. Alright, here's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see what we got. We got unknown heroes. Heroes. And a shard of Moonlight Stone. Okay. Not bad. Nothing. Nothing great. And yeah, I think we couldn't get past over here because there was debris in the way. There was some, like, block or something. There was some bullshit that we couldn't get through here. We'll probably just drop Lotus, right? I don't think you have anything great. Yeah, Lotus. Okay. Alright, um, there is a few cages over here that do have stuff in them, I think, like this one. A three-cornered hat. Uh, that's mage equipment, I know that much. And I think it might be female only. Yeah, female only. Um, yeah, I don't think it does a whole lot much of anything, really. So, oh well. See anything else here? Nothing in there. There we go. This might be the other stuff that's here. There we go. Venerable Sage's uh, armor set there. Uh, again, I'm not going to be using that too much because, well, I'm not a mage. But apparently it's male only. That's nice, I guess. Oh, it's from Sage Freak. Okay, that's kind of weird. But there we go. If you want to look like Sage Freak, there you go. Not that I'm too terribly concerned about following in his fashion sense. Okay, so that's pretty much everything we can do here. There is another area that's supposed to open up here. Um, let's see. It says there's another key around here, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, this is apparently the east part of the second floor, or the west part of the second floor. And apparently after letting Rydell live, you get access to the east part of the second floor. Um, but the problem is, I think you might have to go back to... I think you might have to go back to the Nexus. See, 
Nothing in your cell. Okay, let's go back to the Nexus and then come back and see see if that changes anything here. If not, we're not missing out on a whole lot. Uh, it's just uh, a dagger, some light equipment, uh, the robes set, and then a few mercury stones. But yeah, it's not missing out on a whole lot there. You know, let's just keep our spear equipped here just so we can have our talisman at the ready to get out of here when we're done. I don't want to spend too long in here. Yeah, that's pretty much all this in here is just uh, some equipment and rescuing Rydell. Uh, and I don't think he shows back up in the Nexus because, well, he's dead. He's a soul. So you don't really see him much later. Uh, you can fight his Black Phantom later on, but that's that pure black World Fantasy. Go away, dude. And if I can't figure out how to get to the other part of the second floor, and oh well, too bad. Dang, I don't want your spice. I forgot about that. Alright, and. We are still on the fourth floor, right? Yeah, fourth floor. Okay. Okay, now we're on a different floor. That helps. I guess, a little bit. I have totally forgot that that stupid uh, drop was there. And I didn't know I could just uh, dash through that. Huh. Yeah, he's not going to do that much damage to me now. He'll still do a decent job, but not enough to actually care about. I don't want to stun again, though, that's for sure. Okay, go away, you little bastard. Okay, you... You just earned yourself a spot on my shit list, guy. Okay, go away, you little... Move, guy. Jeez, I hate those little bastards. That's the hardest part about fighting those dang octopus guys is their little dudes getting in the way. Let's see, we are somewhere. Get away, dude. Right now I'm completely lost. I think we're on the third. We're obviously on the third floor. So I don't think there is any other way to be anywhere else after dropping down that hole. But the problem is, fucker, go away. Oh right, yeah, third floor. Now we just need to get to a different floor. You know, if this entire tower of Latria area was like the the second part. I think it'd just be a much better level overall. Alright, is this going to let me go down anywhere that I need to go? Probably. Hopefully. Better. I don't think there's any way to get out of that. I originally thought spamming uh, button mashing would work, but obviously not. Okay, now, let's see, we are... Okay, I think this will take us to the pathway. Yeah, there we go. That's where I want to be. All 
Alright, now, let's, uh, not fall down this time. Yeah, I think it was this way, actually. Yeah, it was this way. Oh well. I'm always gonna get lost in this area. It doesn't matter how many times I go through this damn place. Okay, this should take me... Yeah, close enough. No, not you. Um... Actually, is there another thing that I'm missing here? This is... I have no idea. Well, I don't think it's where we need to be, that's for sure. Ah, maybe this is it. No, this is just where we came from. <sighs> okay. Alright, so this is... This is where Rydell was, I think. Yeah, I think it was, actually. Um, I don't think this will take me where I need to be. Unless there's a magical up portion to it that I'm missing. Yeah, this is the first floor, so not really where I need to be here. I'm going to explore uh, Rydell's area one more time and see if that gets me where I need to go. If I need to get out of here. If not, well, I'm not too terribly worried about it. I tried and got lost and gave up. And you know what? I'm not dealing with you bastards today, so... Good night. And... Okay, the other one appears to be somewhere else. Perfect. Alright, now, where is... Okay, that, that was Rydell's cell right there. So we are currently at Prison of Hope West. So how do we... How do we get to the east part? I've never actually done the White Tennessee stuff for this world, so I don't know how to get over there. This doesn't really... This isn't east, because, well, it's still in the same exact area. It's just the other corridor. I don't think it's going to be through one of these prison cells, even though it could be. See, no fake walls. None of these doors open up anywhere. Yeah, I have no idea how to get over there. Um, maybe there's like a staircase up from the first floor that I'm missing. Uh, let me see here. Let's 
got to be a way to get to this damn area, otherwise it wouldn't be here. Ah, let's see here. Yeah, it's not telling me how to get there, so... I have, no, I have no idea how to get over there, so kill this guy just to see if uh, there's a stair over here, but I don't think there is. Alright, that was easy. See, hopefully there is a stairway to get to where I need to go. If not, well, I'm just going to give up because I have no idea how to get over there. And I don't feel like wasting too much time in this area for some stuff that's not even terribly useful. Now, if the stairway is over here, that'd be great, but I'm not seeing anything, so it's either hidden really well, or I'm just extremely blind, which is always a possibility. Okay, that looked like a floor drop there, but luckily it's not. Right, you, no, okay. Is that the way up? Hey, I think this is the way outside. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, I thought I got something there. Oh, well. Oh, there's a crystal lizard there that I don't really need. but And it's a death trap. So I'm just going to ignore that. Um, it's got to be around here somewhere. I mean, it obviously has to exist. I just have no idea how to get to the damn thing. Alright, Moonlight Stone. Thanks. Not that I need it. Let's see, the Death Trap is over here somewhere. Let's see, still no ways up or anything. Yeah, I have no idea how to get over there, so I think I'm just going to give up here. What is this? This is apparently some place that I've ignored. Huh. This might take me where I need to go. Hi. Huh. I thought I saw that the last time I was here and opened it. Ah, this looks like it. Yes, yeah, probably it right here. See, we get it. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Okay, I'll take it. Um, I'm assuming this is the second floor because well, there's not many other areas it could be at this point. Or I just. Oh, yeah, this is definitely second floor because I don't have the key for it. Because I have a key for every other area in this uh, place. Just. Not here. Okay, saw another one of you. I thought I saw another one of you. There you are. And let's see, I need to get rid of you. Gotcha. All right. Perfect. Let's see, still locked. 
I don't think there's a whole lot of interest in most of these cells except for those little dudes. And then, yeah, just the uh, few other things that's not really that interesting. I wonder if that gate was there before and I just missed it. That's probably what happened. It has to be what happened because either that or disappears for White World Tendency, which I don't think it would. I don't think it's that big of a bastard move. Okay, some of these are open. I know it says that the key for this cells are in one of these open cells here. So I'm assuming it's this one. Okay, Legendary Hero Soul, very nice. And Prison of Hope, second floor, east cell keys. Okay, good. So let's see, nothing in there, so I'm just going to ignore it. Small something in here we got. Renowned Hero Soul, very nice, I'll take it. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing in there. See, this might be the rogues stuff. Yeah, rogues clothes, rogues glo gloves, boots, and a parrying dagger. Okay, uh, I don't think that's much better than what I got on right now. Let's see. Oh, it's female only anyways. Okay. Um, it's got slightly better magical defense, but other than that, it's uh, worse. Eh, it's not horrible, though. But, there you go. And, let's see, what else we got here? Anything else? I think this might be the last cell that I saw items in. And I think these are both just, uh, Mercury Stones. Or Renowned Soldier Soul, that helps, too. Alright, Mercury Stone. And, I think there might be one more... Or not. Okay. Well, we managed to get everything in here. So let's get back to the Nexus then. That took way longer than I would have liked simply for the fact that staying place is impossible to memorize. Alright, let's get rid of all our excess junk here since we don't need it at all. Let's see, uh, back to, hey, you know, I'll put the mace on just for shits and giggles. I'm not going to use it at the, right at the moment, but I'm I'll have it there. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of some stuff here. Let's get rid of all that stuff that I don't need. Um, parrying dagger. I'm going to go ahead and put the knuckles away since, uh, well, the, the mace is just better in every way. See, you're out, 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 out. Alright, there we go, get rid of all that. I'm still not sure why I have such a high item burden. It might be all the, what is it, um, all the herbs I got, since I got a whole bunch of them. You oh. have a heart. Alright, so yeah, this episode wasn't all that great, but we're done with the Tower of Latria, so if you want to kill yourself in there, uh, go for it. Uh, you can kill yourself in pretty much any of the worlds right now, except for uh, Shrine of Storms. Um, let's see. Let's see if. Let's see what the best place to get your money's worth is. Uh, let's see here. Stonefang Tunnel has. Decent stuff there. And there's Black uh, World Tennessee events in two of the areas, the first and the second. Let's see, Tower of Latria. Tower of Latria doesn't really have a whole lot. It has uh, Black Phantom uh, Rydell that you can fight. Um, a whole bunch of those Black Phantom Mind Flayers. Yeah, fuck those guys. And that's in the first area. Uh, and then the second area, you get. Um. 
Black Phantom, Scorpion, Centipede thingies, and then the the Primeval Demon. So not a whole lot in Tower of Latria. And also in Tower of Latria, if you want to do the Black World Tennessee events and keep Black World Tennessee, um, you'd have to do it all in one go for the fact that killing a named Black Phantom like Rydell or killing the demon that gives you the uh, colorless demon souls, um, either one of those increases the World Tendency towards white. So it would no longer be pure Black World Tendency um, after killing one of those. So if you left back to the Nexus, you'd have to go back into body form and kill yourself a few times in order to get back to pure Black World Tendency. Let's see, Shrine of Storms, we don't, we're not worrying about that yet. Valley of Defilement, um, first area doesn't have much interesting. It has some, um, some of those little depraved guys, uh, and that's pretty much it. As Black Phantoms, this the second area has some good stuff. It has a Black Phantom version of Selen Vinland, which... I'm not sure if I'm going to fight her because she's in the water there, and that's not really someplace I really want to fight anybody at. Uh, but the those uh, giant uh, depraved guys, they are in the world there. And the good thing about those guys is, as a black phantom, they're guaranteed to drop something. So these giant depraved dudes are almost guaranteed... I think they actually are guaranteed to drop Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. So they're really good for farming if you need those. I think I have a whole bunch that I'm not too worried about. So I'm not going to... Might, I might use them for a little bit. But yeah, that's a good place to farm the Ephemeral Eyes stuff for your human form stuff. Uh, let's see. And the First World, we'll do more about that later. See, so yeah, I probably go... I'd probably say go to Valley Defilement first just to get the... Uh, depraved ones and get their or the giant depraved ones in the second part and get their ephemeral eyes yeah, let's see here yeah so they're almost they're pretty much guaranteed to drop a stone of ephemeral eyes um, as black phantoms and there are a total of one two I think there's like four or five even. Let's see, it says. Okay, basically, uh, when you're first running through the area, that last little island before the first fog gate, um, there's one next to the uh, regular giant depraved one over there. Um, the ones with, um, what is it? After the slug nest, those guys. Uh, there's Black Phantom Giant Depra Depraved guys standing over there. And then there's also one before the boss area uh, near the Shaman. So that might be the easiest way to farm the Ephemeral Eyes is just to uh, go to the... Uh, what is it? The... Uh, not Swollen. Um, Dirty Colossus Archstone. Run back towards uh, the Fog Gate and find that guy. Kill him, maybe with a bow and arrow kill the shaman nearby so he doesn't get you grab the ephemeral eyes and then either warp out or just go back to the arch stone and then come back in and that's probably a pretty quick way to get your ephemeral eyes stuff but either way it's up to you guys and next episode we're going to go ahead and go into the valley of storms so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys then have a good night